Hello everyone, in this video we are doing an unboxing on the iPod Touch 5th generation like I promised on the I love unboxing and I got the black iPod Touch 32 gigabyte model from Future Shop again and I have also opened a Facebook account Facebook page so that um, you can go and like that page too so I'll now start the unboxing of the iPod Touch so we'll open it from the the side here It just peels off. It's a little tight, okay. Now that we got that part off, the sealed part, so now we should open like this. And at the top we have the iPod Touch, so we'll now take this off, pop it off and put it aside. Then we have the contents of the box, designed by Apple California, and we'll get into the contents of the box. So once you open it, you'll have a bonjour slash hello guide so this is the French version and uh, if you open this part up you'll have the bonjour you have the hello guide and you have the information and then you have the apple stickers so that's the first part and then after you have all these things you have the apple ear pods the new ones that came out with the iphone 5 and we also have the lightning connector that we got for the iPhone 5 as well. So now we'll be taking all these out. So take out the ear pods and the lightning connector. And we have the strap. So we'll take that off too. So we'll take out the... There we go. So now we have the strap here. So we'll put the box aside and we'll get to these things. So first we'll start with the lightning connector. It comes with these pins here. So we'll take this off. And open the other side as well. And the iPod lightning connector should come out perfectly fine. And there we go, we have the lightning connector. Now we'll get to the ear pods. So we'll take out the ear pods. So open it from the back, from the back here. And then just take out the, the wire. And then flip it over and take out the ear pods. So that was the case that it came in like this and then we have the strap so now that we have all these things we'll put them all aside with the bonjour manual and the apple stickers side so now we get to the actual iPod touch so first we'll take off this fake screen here peel it off and then we have the iPod, which should just come out. There we go. And we'll put this part aside. Then we get to the actual iPod touch. So here's the back with the iPod and the camera and the Wi-Fi antenna. And we have the, the place where you put the strap. So you pop it open and then you put the strap on. So I'll... Do that now. Just strap on like that. And there. 
once you hear the click it will be firm and then we get to the actual iPod touch so turn it on and there it's turning on with the Apple symbol and it will start up in a few seconds So while it's turning on, I'll show you the that the bottom part about it doesn't have the 32 gigabyte like it had for the first one. Oh, now it's ready to be configured. So as I was saying, it doesn't have 32 gigabyte like it used to show on my old iPod Touch 4 generation. Now we have the configuration screen. So now I'll pause the video and I'll set it up and then reopen it. Now I've finished putting in all my data to my iPod through iTunes and I have 27.68 gigabyte free on and I also register my name and the iOS were in 6.1.3. Unlike the iPhone it, it didn't come with the software that is unthoroughly jailbreakable. So we cannot enjoy a jailbreak so I have to wait or I can just get iOS 7 which I'll have a video soon for this iPod. So everything is completed for the everything I have and I have rearranged the applications so they look like the sticker that came on top of the iPod and um, I should uh, rearrange them so because I, I like how it looks on the iPod it looks like it was just just new from the store so I'm just going to rearrange these put them in uh, good order so now it looks just like the sticker so there's my utilities on the other side which doesn't have on the sticker because obviously it's not a real iPod and I'll show you in settings that is indeed version 6.1.3 as you can see version 6.1.3 and I registered my um, Apple ID to my iPod so I can use the App Store and everything and um, now it's fully functional and I can use all the applications. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you can check out my Twitter and Facebook, which will be down in the description. And also my site, which you can read more about jailbreaking and all the other cool stuff that I have in my channel. So thanks again for watching.